Hi, this is Daryl with Ellipsis Technologies. I'm going to show you how to use your professional grid and the Ellipsis app to get the best measurements on your O-rings. Once you get your grid, you're going to want to first have open the app and hit Calibrate a Grid. To calibrate a grid, you just scan the QR code at the bottom of the grid and then you're calibrated. Once you're calibrated, you may hit Measure an O-ring. My O-ring here is less than 50 millimeters and I'm going to hit Go Measure after that. When you take your image, you're going to want to align your camera as vertically and perpendicularly as possible, meaning you just want to take a very flat image of your O-ring. Things to avoid are getting too close to have the O-ring be out of focus, any skew one way or the other, any image rotation. You don't want the image to be rotated like this. You want to align the O-ring with the red guides on both your grid and on your screen. Once you have proper alignment and it looks like you have good focus, hit measure to process your image. Then it will uh, analyze your data. Once you arrive at this screen, you will zoom in, make sure that the red is going along the ID and OD of the O-ring and not getting crazy. Hit approve image if it looks good. From there, it'll bring you to your result screen. Here you can add comments, you can save your results. You can put your reference as your part number. You can put like a cure date or a reference code in the, or a batch code in the description. And you can put a reference image such as a bag label or a part that this goes on in here. That way you can always refer back to your O-rings. That's all it takes to measure an O-ring accurately using Ellipsis technologies. To get the application, visit ellipsis.com or check it out in your app store. Thank you.